Welcome back to Active Record Week on Rails 1. Last time, we started laying the groundwork for a project called Project Management, and we created two models. One was called Projects, and the other was called Tasks. Projects can have many tasks, and tasks can belong to a single project. So we explored one-to-many relationships in Rails. This time around, we are going to be exploring one-to-one -one relationships in Rails. Now, one-to-one -one relations are kind of a special case. You want to steer away from using them unless you absolutely have to. It's uh, a lot easier and a lot easier to maintain when you just add the field that you want to the model that uh, would be the parent of that relationship. But sometimes there are regulatory reasons or security reasons that would require you to store a certain bit of information in a different server than where your application server or your regular database servers are running. So that's a situation where you would need to use a one-to-one -one relationship and luckily Rails provides a mechanism for easily doing that. So why don't we tab on over to our terminal and get started. First things first, we need to generate a model for our description. So we'll just go ahead and use the Rails generate command to do that. And we will give it an attribute called text with a type of text as well. And we'll set up our project references, hit return and then we will migrate the database. Migration ran successfully. Run over to our schema and take a look at the new table that's been created. So we've got text and we've got project ID, which is what we expect. If we jump over to our models files for project, it does not have the has one yet. So let's add in has one description make sure this is singular. Rails is plural sensitive and it does matter. You'll notice that tasks has an S on the end of it and descriptions does not. Go ahead and save that file. And we can look at description, but since we generated it with references, it already belongs to project. So we're all set there. Now let's take a look at the Rails console and try to create a link between description and a project. So we go ahead and start the Rails console and define a project. I'll use the same name as we did in the last video. And now we will add a description to that. So if you remember last time, we did something akin to project tasks dot build, and then we wrote our new state, our uh, name statement rather in here. But with one-to-one -one inheritance, the syntax is a little bit different. It is now project build underscore description and then we define our text field here. Let me say the steps or the tasks required to buy a used car. We hit return, we've created that object. So now we can access that with project.description. And that's really all there is to it. We'll talk to you tomorrow about has and belongs to many relationships as we continue with Active Record Week.